You know what's really hard sometimes? Obeying God. It can be very difficult to obey God sometimes. You say, but Steve, I mean, that's what we're supposed to do as Christians. We're supposed to be obedient unto God. There's just some scripture you and I both know that it's really hard not only to understand, but once we understand, then we don't understand. We don't understand why we got to do that. Uh, a few of these scriptures, a few of these commands are like loving and praying for our enemies. That can be really hard for some people. Uh, completely forgiving. Being completely forgiving. That could be hard for some people. And here's a really hard one. You know, today is tax day or yesterday was tax day. Anyway, we owe a lot of money to our government. Many of us. Some of us will get a little bit back. Some of us won't. It's hard to work for the government. For some people, it's hard to not put down, let alone praise, the government uh, and those that who are in authority over us. And that goes for policemen and military people as well. So here's a couple of scriptures that they may be difficult, but I just want you to hear them again so that when you see the president speaking on TV... You think about what you're thinking about, and you pray, and you remember these scriptures. Or when you see a police officer being uh, held accountable for, you know, stepping out in the flesh or doing something silly, um, we still need to be careful and obey God in His Word. Here's the scriptures for you. Romans 13.1 Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. Ouch. For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. There's one. Next one. But Peter and the apostles, Acts 5.29, answered, We must obey God rather than men. So they're going to obey God, but they're also going to respect their authorities. Titus 3.1. Remind them to be submissive to rulers and authorities. To be obedient and to be ready for every good work. Maybe for some of you these are ouches. But here's here's the big one right here, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, saints, whoever's listening. Romans 13, 1 through 7. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. Ooh, For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed. And those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you receive his approval? For he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoers. Therefore, one must be in subjection, not only, not only to avoid God's wrath, but also for the sake of conscience." God's being very serious through the Apostle Paul here. We must respect our governing authorities. We should not be putting people on blast. We should not be telling people what we think of this president and this police officer and all these kinds of things as children of God. We should be praying for them. And if you, for some reason, disagree with the people who hold these people in high regard and you don't hold them in such high regard, you should hold God in high regard and respect the people who are over us at this time. Pray for them. It, you know, it should be more difficult for you to pray for your enemies than to pray for the governing authorities. Respect your police. Respect your military. Respect your parents. Here we go. It's, it just keeps on going, right? Respect your boss for the sake of God. How do I do it? Well, I can just share. It's not easy all the time, but I can tell you what I do. I do all things as unto God. If we do that, then it gets a lot more simple. Do whatever you do unto God. And then you can say, I did this for the Lord's sake. And you could put your own opinion to the side for the obedience of the word of Christ. Till next time, God bless you.